I had a couple of questions from some YouTubers on the recent video I put up about my uh, X sniper rifle and they were wondering some of the things that you could look for to tell if you have an X sniper rifle or not. Well, I'm going to change the camera angle and show you a couple of things you can look for. If you have an Ishevek X sniper rifle, the easiest way to tell is to take the action out of the stock, look below the wood line, you'll see this number that's penciled out. That is the scope number that used to be on this rifle. Now here's the most surefire way to tell if you got an X sniper rifle or not. And that will be plugged receiver holes. You can see there where when these rifles went through the refurbishment process, the old holes from the mount were filled in, spot welded, and then sanded over on the outside of the receiver. There's two more right there. Now the thing about sniper rifles is that they were selected for accuracy from the best rifles in stock. They were never really purpose built from the ground up. The rifles start their life as a standard infantry gun that is selected for its inherent accuracy potential. At some point, if the rifle is deemed unsuitable as a sniper rifle, it'll be returned to service and then the holes will be filled and then it just becomes a standard infantry gun. Most of the times, that involves replacing the stock with a completely new one. Otherwise, the stock would be inleted for the mount. Here's the stock from that rifle and you can see that the stock is a replacement. There's part of the old serial number along the bottom of the barrel. That's completely normal for an X sniper. Tula X sniper rifles will have a S and acrylic R that'll look like an N on this side. The Aish of X did not use those markings. For this Mosin to be an X sniper like it is and be a 44, that's completely normal for the production dates for the PUs. This Y with a circle is a black powder proof mark. Why they did that, I don't really know. But it's a neat, neat uh, thing to talk about nonetheless.